Workers' compensation in Missouri is a conspiracy. It's disgusting to me that these insurance companies will spend over $130 million last year alone to lobby government to harm you after an injury. Previously, I've spoken about how they harm you uh, even before an auto accident, which is what we do primarily at Cantor Injury Law. But we're the litigators, so we've handled workers' compensation cases in Missouri for 30 years. As soon as you're injured at work, the workers' compensation conspiracy is working against you, and probably even before your work injury. So work comp owes you three main benefits, and the statute says that you're entitled to two-thirds of your wages while you're off work, to 100% of your medical bills, and to a lump sum payment for permanent and partial disability. But you're not really entitled to anything without a fight because workers' compensation routinely cheats and lies, their insurers cheat and lie to not pay you benefits. And the law is in their favor already because they've lobbied government. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of those and I'm gonna post this uh, entire paper that I've written and I've written probably five or 10 papers on the workers' compensation conspiracy because it, it, it's disgusting. So why is it that you should be at home, maybe with a broken back or an amputated arm, and they're paying you two thirds of your wages? Why wouldn't they pay you your full wage? I mean, you're suffering and there's no money for pain or suffering for your harms or losses in workers' compensation. It's solely based on your disability on what I call a meat chart, and I'll post this later. But if you get your arm cut off at the shoulder, it's worth 232 weeks of pay at two thirds of your wages. At the wrist, it's 155 weeks. Your knee is 160 weeks. If you get your finger amputated, it's worth almost nothing, depending on which finger. Your thumb is worth 45 weeks. Your first finger is worth 30 weeks of pay at two thirds of your wages. So it's really 20 weeks at the max rate so you might get $8,000, depending on what you earn, for your finger being cut off. It's gross, it's terrible, and that's why you need a lawyer right away. Because they say that you're entitled to these benefits, but you have to fight for every single benefit or they're going to cheat you. And everyone's in on it. The insurance company in Missouri gets to pick your doctor. If you wanna to go to your own doctor, you can pay for it, but if you want them to pay as it's stated that you're entitled to, you have to go to their doctor. And guess what? Their doctor knows who's paying them, the insurance company. So they may treat you for a long time and then say you have no disability because they wanna get the next 50 injury cases. These doctors are smart and they've conspired with the insurance companies and I've got a lot of examples of it. I mean, I've had cases where the Court of Appeals has found a doctor to be biased, uninformed and not credible. That doctor testified that my client's fusion didn't heal because he was diabetic and he wasn't being compliant with his diabetic medication. And I deposed that doctor for, for a long time. And the doctor repeatedly told me how my client was non-compliant. Well, the problem with that testimony was that my client was not diabetic. So he made all that up. There was no evidence of diabetes. And so the fact that my guy's fusion didn't heal was because the doctor did a bad job, not because my client was diabetic and the Court of Appeals found these lies. They called, they called that same doctor a prevaricator, which is a fancy word for a liar. So workers' compensation is a conspiracy. It starts from the moment you're injured and that adjuster calls you and they say, hey, you have to fill out a report of injury and you have to give a statement. When they say that, you need to think, I better call a good, aggressive local lawyer and there's a lot of them out there. I would uh, position that Cantor Injury Law is the best suited and no law firm can say that they're better at litigating these cases than Cantor Injury Law. They, they can't and they don't, uh, it would be untrue. The moment that you hire a lawyer, they ought to file a claim for compensation to protect you. So what happens is, if you're not represented, you file Form 21, which is kind of a notice that, hey, I've got this injury. It's not the same as filing a formal claim. You need to file a formal claim. Uh, you need to file 
and say, I was injured in the course and scope of my employment and this is how much I earn uh, and this is my disability. And you need to put it out there so that, the, that when it's time to go to court, we can be ready. And you need a lawyer to do that for the most part. I guess some people could file it on their own, but they always do it wrong. Uh, and you're getting cheated already without a lawyer. Even with a lawyer, I think you're getting cheated because I think the system's unfair. Why would you get two thirds of your wages when you're at home? I'll give you some other examples. If the employer finds that you did not file, uh, follow a safety rule, you didn't wear a harness and you fell, 50% of your benefits are cut, cut in half. But if the employer didn't file, uh, follow a safety rule like they didn't give you the harness, it's only a 15% uh, addition. So it's half for you and a 15% penalty to them. Why? Because the insurance industry lobbied your government and they co-conspired with your employer to not pay you benefits. I'll give you another, another one. As soon as you're hurt, you could have, and I've had this, I've had people with broken bones, um, with amputations, uh, with partial paralysis, and they're lying in the hospital. You know what the first thing the employer wants to do is drug test them. Well, many of them are going to fail because they've already given them narcotics because they, you know, they're paralyzed. But if they find that you're on drugs at the time of your injury, uh, it, it eradicates many of your benefits. Um, so, and, and it's a 50% penalty. So if you, and if they fire you for an unrelated reason, let's say you're at home and you don't fill out a form that they want or they create some other reason to terminate you, uh, they also uh, relieve themselves of the liability of paying you two thirds of your wages. So they can fire you and then say, we don't owe you any more money. That's a civil case, by the way, and we've won those cases because these employers think they're being smart and think that you're weak and that they can cheat you. And at Cantor Injury Law, I'm not having it. I mean, we will go and we will litigate both the workers' compensation case and the civil case because that, that's, that's unfair. That's cheating. I don't let my people get cheated ever. Um, a few other things. You know, when I went to law school, I thought that Doctors were the smartest, best people in the world because my father's a pediatric neurologist. I thought they were honest to the core and that they wouldn't ever cheat or lie for anybody. That They couldn't be bought out. It's totally, that was totally wrong. These doctors are paid a lot of money. They make millions of dollars to both treat you and then say you're not injured and they do it all day long. And that's why you got to depose these doctors and you got to litigate the case from the moment you're injured. You need a lawyer to help you do that. I hope it's Cantor Injury Law. If it's not Cantor Injury Law and you think you can do it your own, on your own, you've made a mistake. If you hire a lawyer that doesn't uh, work in Missouri routinely, that's probably a mistake. Um, you know, they, they can be licensed in Missouri and live in Florida. Um, and when you have these court settings, we set our cases for hearing immediately. As soon as we can, we're setting up for pre-hearings and then mediation and then hearing. And you've got to be present to win those cases. I think a hearing in person is much more effective than one on video or, you know, electronically. Um, so the drug testing thing is a conspiracy. The two thirds of your wages is a conspiracy. The penalty for misconduct is a conspiracy. Uh, the fact that the employer gets to choose the doctor is a conspiracy. And guess what? These big insurers, they also want you to have a nurse case manager. And the nurse case manager is whispering in the ear of the doctor that, that you're faking it, that you're not really injured. They're working against you and they pretend. Some of these people are so sweet and nice. They kill you with kindness. They're cheating you. They're not on your side. They get paid every week by that insurance company. Um, lots of other things. I, I've had cases where they, they video you and they follow you around in, in things that look like minivans that have um, darkened windows. And they're trying to catch you doing things, doing activities. And look, just because you uh, can pick up a gallon of milk one time, it, it might mean that you did it then and now you're sore for the remaining you know, rest of the week. And if they have a whole week of video, they won't show you the other things. They just show you the thing where you're lifting up milk. 
Um, so they, they cheat. I go and I depose those videographers when they have bad video evidence. And I say, well, how long did you surveil them? And I've had people you know, under surveillance for three months and they have one example of a person picking up a thing of milk and they testify they couldn't pick up milk. You know what? They did one time and they were suffering from it. Um, I believe that case was true and the, the court believed it was true and we won big. Um, so, you know, be careful because they're going to video you and they're going to take statements. Don't give a statement. Don't sign anything without getting a lawyer. You know, come to us when they want you to sign something. Say, I'm calling my lawyer. I'm calling Cantor because we're not going to have you do that without us there. Um, so uh, we want legitimate cases. If your case is true, we want to help you. If you stubbed your toe, uh, get over it. You know, uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be you know, you might think your stub toe is the worst thing in the world. We have amputation cases and paralysis cases. If your case is real and it's true and it's got long-term disability, we want to help you. The way you win a case is by fighting it from the beginning and by telling the truth and persevering. We will persevere for you. If your case is false, if you're lying, please don't come to me. And I'll tell you this story. I, my very first hearing in workers' compensation in 1993, I represented a guy that was a meat cutter and he had carpal tunnel and he had the surgeries and he testified he couldn't do anything with his hands and his hands were weak and I believed him to my core and I tried that case and I won. And I was so happy when the award came. And he came to my office and I gave him a check and he shook my hand, it felt like a vice. I was disgusted, I wanted to vomit because obviously his hand grip strength was fine. Um, and he testified wrongly. I will not put you up and have you testify if you're lying. That's my, my firm doesn't want that. It, it harms every case in this office if you're lying. And another case where, um, so don't lie to your lawyer. If you lie to your lawyer, you're probably gonna lose. Um, the system is smart. Um, I had another guy that, that uh, they had him fast pitch baseball on video. We had an offer, it was a shoulder injury case, and we had an offer to resolve the case and he didn't want, to want it, he wanted to go to hearing. In the morning of the hearing, the other lawyer told me that they had video and I saw the video and I went to my guy and I said, all your testimony was a lie. You know, We had an opportunity to resolve this case and of course we did settle it and it was settled for much less. But fast pitch baseball, you know what? If you're complaining and whining on, on deposition that you can't do anything and then they have that, your case is worth very little. So be honest with your lawyers, be honest with the system because a, a bad case harms the entire system. It's why people hate lawyers um, because sometimes you win bad cases. I don't want to ever win a bad case. Um, and by the way, you can't win them all. Sometimes we lose cases that I believe to my core, we should have won because the judge got it wrong or because the, the, the client misspoke or wasn't, didn't present well because they're not used to being in court. That's why you need a good lawyer to sit with you to help you tell the truth in a way that maximizes your financial recovery. And we'll do that for you. So uh, that's some of the frauds. Um, I've had doctors uh, lie in deposition uh, I've had uh, insurance company lawyers create defenses that were totally untrue to try to win the case, and I don't have that. I'm just going to bulldog through those cases uh, and take your case to trial. Um, and there's some other things here, but I'm not going to go through them all. The bottom line is uh, the system is rigged. It's rigged against you from the very start because you don't get any money for pain and suffering. The employer is going to cheat you on your wages, okay? It's based on, we can get a 13-week wage statement. They always do the math in a way that's favorable to them. Uh, the employer gets to choose the doctor, and the employer has all these other uh, things built into the law that, you know, work needs to be the prevailing factor. So if there's equal things that cause your injury, work has to be the prevailing cause. Uh, that was a legislative change that obviously harmed uh, claimants in Missouri. Cantor injury law is here all the time. We'll, we'll always make time for your case. We'll always make time to fight for you. 
It's 314-628-9999. If your case is true, you're not going to get a better lawyer than Cantor Andrew Law. Thanks for watching.